All right, all right, all right. Good morning. We are in Astipalia and uh, this is a very, very gorgeous island. Uh, we have yeah. hotels and we have uh, restaurants and uh, pizza place, car rental company and uh, another uh, restaurant here. And now imagine this being your living room. <laughs> I don't know who that person would be to live here and have this as a window and this as a window. Come on, it's next level. Astipalitico Spiti. It's the Astipalia style house. No, it is closed. I don't think we can have a tour of inside of this house, but you get the idea how it is, you know? A little arch here and then the stairs going up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you want to be standing here and then you will understand and feel what I'm feeling. I wasn't expecting this, but I am quite impressed after being here. It is such a, such a, I mean, look at here. And here we are at the top of and uh, uh, Astipalia style house. Very nice tail work here, stonework here. Boy. I'm not scared of heights, but this makes me a little bit feel <laughs> uncomfortable.
So we have a museum here is saying Laografico. I don't understand the meaning, but we have a museum. It's not open at the moment, but it seems like they will open it. I guess these, this woodwork here is quite old and it needs uh, a renovation. It, it doesn't feel so comfortable where, when you are walking on it. So I was kind of paying attention to not break uh, an ankle or something. But overall, oh, come on. This castle feels like right out of a fairy tale, but available for us to, to come here and visit it and just draw inspiration and get inspired. Well, of course, there is a lot more to see and a lot more to explore. I'm not going to spoil it for you. It's up to you to come here and uh, visit this place and explore, explore it for yourself. And right in the entrance here on the right side, we have very detailed uh, information, description of this place, uh, which is not a nice thing. So that's all up to you. And then we have here the entrance the door i mean come on look at this style of this door the texture of this door you can take like a picture of this and it could be a nice like dress texture i mean come on come on you gotta be kidding me yeah so so beautiful
enfermera. And here on the left side, we have this taverna restaurant Barbarossa. And right next to it, we have the town hall, the Marchio. I'm quite positive if you would have walked this way, it will also uh, has taken, uh, taken us to the castle up somewhere. But I will leave this uh, for you. Okay, and we have uh, uh, information, Astipalia Tours, Travel Shipping Agency, and uh, right in front of the, the town hall, and we have some other shops as well, such as uh, antique shops and jewelry shops and uh, gift shops uh, as well. And this particular area where the town hall is, it offers uh, multiple options to sit outside to grab a drink and uh, grab a coffee or maybe even come out for uh, dinner. 
uh, as well as they have very nice balconies and there is not just one two or three if you would walk around and and, and stroll around you can find multiple places that you can choose uh, a, a place that suits uh, your and your mates needs Once again, we have supermarket introduced as a Panda Pulio in the Greek way. And that is so freaking amazing when I read it. Like it's not just written supermarket when it's written also like uh, in, in Greek Panda Pulio. Yeah, so we have a supermarket here. We have an ATM machine as well and a Kachika boutique. And right in front of me uh, next to these uh, coffee shops and taverns is the windmills. Pablo Pasta Corner, we have here also a pasta restaurant. So let me give you a quick description of this area right around the windmills. We have uh, a few parking area. We have one parking down there. So you can, if you were renting a car or if you were uh, renting a bike to explore the island and you are coming here, so the parking is available. And we also have parking in this area also available for EVs. So that's a nice thing uh, everywhere. Mo in the most places here in Astipalia, you will find uh, parking that has like a 
charger, an EV charger as well. The, and then you have in this particular area bars, coffee shops and uh, various uh, other services available, also including the town hall. And this is one, another view from a different perspective. I didn't know about like behind the parking we also have more coffee shops and taverns and bars looking to this side. Alright folks, now it's time for me to grab a drink because I am thirsty and it is quite steep to go up there and come down and it is a little bit hot but now we have a fresh breeze that's nice but I think I need to grab a drink maybe a fresh orange juice or maybe something yeah yeah and then we are gonna continue walking downhill towards the port and uh, along the way you will get to see what are the other things that are available along the street that we are taking going towards the port yeah That's another view towards the port.
This place is absolutely amazing. This place is lovely and uh, it has exactly the vibes of uh, uh, Santorini, but it's like if if you have been if you had been to Santorini like long 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 time ago and oh, what you experience where there were locals and every, I don't know I cannot compare it but based on some comments I have felt like oh this was great like 10 years ago this was great 20 years ago which I think that's a personal opinion uh, it's I'm not sharing anything I'm just putting things together to make it easier for you to analyze and understand I definitely love Santorini right Right now as much as I would have loved it 20 years ago uh, I'm a different person I look at things in a different way but if you are somebody who would want that uh, that thing that you are kind of missing then this is your place you can come here and and this will not disappoint you yeah so this was it for Astipalia for the windmills and for the Hora I guess this place is called Hora Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give uh, this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts, recommendations. Uh, I, some drips were coming from the tree, so I couldn't sit. Huh? Good reflex, huh? <laughs> yeah, so share your thoughts, recommendations in the comment section and let me know what do you think about this place. Uh, and if you want to support me, support the channel, my PayPal account link, Patreon account link in the description. And if you are already having a good time, consider subscribing. Other than that, until the next time, peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.